Nintendo 3DS is here, it's real, it's got a price, and Harold Goldberg, the author of All Your Base Are Belong to Us, was at the announcement. Hey, Harold. I was, and it seemed like media from around the world were there, hundreds of people. Uh, it comes out on March 27th, it costs $250, maybe a little too much money to pay, I'm not sure. Now, it's more than a gaming thing. It's got, it's 3D, it's got the kitchen sink in there. Tell me all about it. I mean, it's, it's, it's really feature rich. It's feature rich. I mean, the first thing is it's 3D without glasses, which no one else has in any device. So it's pretty cool in that sense. Um, it's got all these bells and whistles in it. It's got a pedometer and the pedometer is hooked up into the game. So as you walk, it gives you extra stuff for your games. Um, it's, it plays 3D movies. Um, there's talk that it not only now does it, uh, take 3D pictures, there's talk that it'll take 3D video for you down the line. So um, it is indeed feature rich. Now it's, there's a couple of studies that have come out. First of all, Nintendo made an announcement a few weeks back that said, if you're under six years old, you should restrict the amount of time you spend looking at the 3DS because the 3D may be messing with your head somehow. Mm -hmm. There was that. And then just today, I saw an article that said, um, that some physiologists had determined that 25% of the people in the world, no matter what the technology is, can't actually see 3D and won't be able to use the technology. And a large amount of people who, are, who can see it will get pounding headaches from it. <laughs> so that's I, kind of a little weird. It's true. I, you know, I spent hours with the device the other day. And How was your head? Uh, it, it depended what game I was on. There was a game called uh, Kid Icarus, which is a long-running uh, series for Nintendo. And that gave me true vertigo in 3D. It was just the flying around in the air. And uh, I had to t there was a slider that turns the 3D off. I had to turn it off with there. But uh, Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, which is a reboot of a 1998 game, is just brilliant in 3D. You feel inside the game with that. They, they're bringing out, they said, about 30 classic games. Yeah, they're not all classic games. Some are, some are some are new. Some are reboots of old. But uh, between uh, the March twenty seventh and E three, which is the beginning of June, you should th see about thirty games. And they'll be Madden. Madden is not so good uh, in three D. So my question is, was it fun? Yeah, yeah. Generally, it was fun, except when I had a headache. <laughs> <laughs> generally, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. And do you think people are going to like it? I, I I know I liked it with the reservation that uh, some games I had to turn down the slider because the, the 3D made me dizzy. But it had the slider, so you had the choice. Yeah, I had the choice. I think it's a brilliant uh, forward-thinking device, generally. Now, if you had a chance to take 3D pictures, would you? I guess I would. You know, if it were like a big panorama, Niagara Falls or Grand Canyon or something like that. But I don't know if I'd be doing it around the house. Now, I got one last question for you. I've seen the device, and I, I held it and played with it for a second. Yeah. And I got the sense that it would be much more fun if that screen was a lot bigger. Did you feel the same way? I wish the screen was a bit bigger, but I think it's all right. What bothered me more is that there's not much wiggle room with the angle that right. you look at. Right. So if you go like that, you can't see it anymore. So it's, it's a great device, but... Uh, um, with some reservations. Harold, thank you so much. Harold Goldberg, the author of All Your Base Are Belong to Us. Thank you so much for being here, Harold. Appreciate it. I'm Shelley Palmer. You're watching Live Digital.